All right, guys, so we went ahead. We've got everything clean on this uh, driveway. We've got the back patio all cleaned up and all the weeds taken out. Now we're getting ready to mix the sealer and uh, it's just gonna come out great. We're gonna go into what the mix ratio is and we're also gonna go into uh, how to add color and you know be artful. And then we're gonna look at how to work this in areas where it could make a mess and when to decide not to bother using the color we'll go all into that in just a second all right guys today we're going to talk about mixing your sealer we're going to start with a full batch using a full bucket what it takes to mix it we're going to go over the tools you need to have set up and today we're also going to get into color seal so you'll get to see how we add just a little bit of color each step of the way to really restore this uh, patio driveway and entrance foyer thanks so some of the things we like to have ready is our pump pail cart we're going to put our uh, pump on top of a bucket and this is going to cart our, our uh, battery powered pump around all right we're going to have our uh, paddle bit mixer ready to go it's going to be in its own bucket of water so it stays balanced We've got two full five gallons filled up, ready to be mixed. When we mix this, this is gonna be part A and B all together. Some of the tools that make this a little bit easier, especially when we're color sealing, is gonna be a little foam roller for the edges. We apply with a pump up sprayer, and uh, we've already got our cleaning solution ready for the bucket when we're all done. Some sponges really help around steps, and um, water and a towel to clean up any messes. So let's go ahead and get into it and show you how we mix the sealer. All right, first step we're gonna do is we're gonna actually prime this. Before we mix the sealer, we wanna make sure that our pump pail system is gonna work. So all we simply do, we run it in water and we give the system a little while to prime, okay? And you'll see that this starts to push through water. And you'll hear all the air actually get out of it we know that this is good to go great we're going to put this over here into another bucket of water just to hang out for a minute okay next thing we're going to do is open up our five gallon bucket of urosteel this mix ratio works the same if you're using the uh, gloss product or the natural first part of the mixing is taking this is part B I don't know if you can see that part B okay we're gonna take that one gallon and add it to the four gallons in this bucket part A okay so if you're with me there it's a four to one ratio four to one right four gallons one gallon so they do have these nice little fancy spouts but since we're mixing the whole bucket we're going to go ahead and take this ring off using a flathead screwdriver and we're going to insert that in the edge and just kind of turn it so that it pinches that lid off go around the whole thing we're going to empty this directly in adding part b to part A. Go ahead and empty the whole thing in. The next step is to use our mixer, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and paddle bit mix for a good minute, two minutes, at least two minutes long. Right, guys so we've mixed part a and part b we have five gallons of a b what we're going to do now is we're going to split this into thirds between two empty buckets so that way i can cut in my water for a total of 15 gallons of mix okay i like to do this next to other buckets to keep it stable on a flat grassy area i'm going to put a third in here
So just so you can see, I'm gonna bring this a little closer, all right? We've taken one, two, three buckets. We've taken all of AB, okay? And we've mixed it between these three buckets. The next step is to add in the water from these two buckets. In total, what we should get is about 15 gallons of mix. So you want to keep the buckets kind of next to each other to keep them from spilling over as you pour. Okay, you can't go wrong here as long as they all equal out the same. With the AB you put in each of the three buckets and then if the water equals the same level Now we have our three buckets. They're pretty much at the same level. This is gonna equal our um, one to two mix. Now that we have AB, we have one part AB, and we're gonna add two parts water for that total to equal 15 gallons. So let's go ahead and mix it up. Again, we have to hit it with the paddle bit mixer for about two minutes in each bucket. So we're gonna take a look and get that started. All right, guys, we've got our sealer mixed up. We're gonna get ready to add dye here in just a second. And what I wanna point out to you is that we're always making sure that the, the pump is primed before we get all this mixed. We're making sure that our tools are clean. The uh, pump up sprayer is already been cleaned out and filled up from last time. So we know that it's got a nice, good uh, cone shaped spray for applying our sealer, okay? So we're good to go. What we're gonna do now is um, go into how to mix these colors, okay? All right, so today our client is gonna have us put down granite gray. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use saddle tan to go ahead and uh, juice up, brighten up these colors, hopefully bring them back to where they should have been. So a lot of times I'll start very light, okay, with the color. In this case, I, I kind of know where I'm going with this, so we're going to add a little bit more than we normally would. Um, and the first color we're actually going to put down is going to be the uh, granite gray. I want to bring out the dark colors before we add the brown saddle tan color. So here's what that looks like. They do have these uh, little measuring things. It comes up to an ounce when you fill that up. And that's nice to know so you can keep track of how many you put in case you need to make this batch again. You can say up, oh, I put three or four ounces or whatever it is. So you get that color. Typically I like to stop after we do um, about three ounces. I like to mix it in and see what we're gonna get. So far, I really like the color. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go a little bit darker though. Um, this driveway really needs it. It has never been sealed and it is 19 years old. So there are certain sections where we won't be putting the color down. The back patio looks pretty good. So we'll probably leave that clear. So that makes four ounces in this one mix. We'll probably try to match that four ounces with the uh, saddle tan color too. That's a good starting point. We'll mix the tan up and then we're gonna start testing. Okay, so you guys can see. Again, same thing, it has an ounce filler. You squeeze, I don't know if you can see in there. You see, it fills it up. And then once you get it up to the top, you know you got about an ounce in there. Okay. I like to make this stuff look like chocolate milk. This is one of my favorite colors to add. Two ounces.
three ounces. Four ounces. So this is really an art, okay? Um, not every job is gonna need a whole lot. Sometimes I like to put just a little bit in on a brand new deck, it just looks great. <laughs> 